Meanwhile, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency has launched a manhunt for a Lagos-based drug dealer, Soumi Kayode, who is now on the run after crushing an NDLEA officer in his bid to escape arrest. We have more in this report. NDLEA operatives last week stormed Mr. Coyote's residence for a search and possible arrest following credible intelligence that he was dealing in illicit drugs in his house. A statement by the Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi, noted that the suspect was not in the house when operatives got into his compound, but as soon as he returned, he attempted to escape and knock down one of the officers. Mr. Baba Femi also noted that the thorough search of his apartment led to the recovery of 10.5 kilograms of loud why the operatives suffered multiple injuries. Following the unpleasant development, Chairman, Chief Executive Officer of NDLEA, Brigadier General Boba Marwa retired, has directed the deployment of appropriate operational assets of the agency to smoke out the wanted suspect from his hiding. He also approved adequate medical care for the injured officer so that he can get back on his feet as soon as possible. Well, I'm joined now by the NDLEA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi, uh, for more on this new development. So what's the latest with this manhunt, Mr. Baba Femi? Um, thank you very much for that. At the moment, um, we're definitely on the trail of the wanted suspect, and um, it's a matter of this. He can only hide, he can't run uh, for too long. We are definitely... Um, on his tray, and, um, and that's all I can say at the moment because I know our operatives are working around the clock to ensure that uh, wherever he may be hiding, he would be smoked out definitely, just like our statements earlier uh, stated. How often has, uh, you know, occurrences of this nature, you know, happened in the course of duty for your men? I'll tell you that indeed, um, our operatives face quite a lot of uh, dangers out there, um, uh, more often than not, uh, because um, we have, I mean, we are fighting um, a menace that um, those behind it, that is the Carteras, the Barons, the Moors, they are trying everything uh, possible to resist change, to resist. Um, um, what the agency stands for, what the agency, the, the, the mission, the vision, and the goal, the mandate of the agency. But then uh, we indeed have, uh, we have um, the backing, the support of the government of Nigeria to go all out and ensure that this, um, um, this indeed is um, curtailed in our country so as to preserve and protect the, I mean, public health, especially the lives of our young people that are daily being put in danger as a result of um, the trafficking and um, uh, circulation sales of these illicit substances. Interesting. What, what other forms of intel or, you know, what best practice is your agency embracing right now to, you know, perhaps limit the form of violent confront that you've had with these criminals? Well, um, uh, thank you for that again. I'll tell you that indeed um, some of the things that have been put in place um, by the leadership of the agency with the support of the federal government um, in recent time has been to procure um, some protective um, tools and, and gears for the officers who go on operation, as well as armored vehicles. Um, some of the armored vehicles, uh, the agency is still looking up for more. But then um, at the moment, I can tell you that indeed some of these, um, some of these tools needed by the agency are being provided by the government of Nigeria, as well as um, with the support of our partners, especially our international partners. Femi Bafemi is um, Director of Media and Advocacy and DLEA. Thank you for talking to us. It's my pleasure. Thank you and have a good evening. You too. Elsewhere, the chief of the air staff has condoled with families of personnel uh, who died in last week's helicopter crash in Niger State. Air Marshal Asana Bubaka met with bereaved family members 
uh, during his visit to the Air Force 115. That's the Special Operations Group in Port Harcourt. Senior correspondent Ucho Koro reports. The 115 Special Operations Group in Port Harcourt was the home base of the MI-171 helicopter that crashed, killing all four personnel on board, the pilot, co-pilot and two airmen. Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar uses his maiden visit to River State as chief of the air staff to meet with families of the two crew members. Despite knowing that incidents like this are part of the risk associated with serving in the military, bereaved families still struggle to come to terms with the loss of loved ones in the line of duty. But the chief of the air staff has assured that the air force will support them throughout this difficult time and beyond. I'm here this morning uh, with a team from the headquarters Nigerian Air Force to first of all uh, express our deepest condolences to the immediate family members of this crew that we lost and also to interact with the officers and men of the unit to encourage them and to make sure that uh, we assure them of our support so that they continue to do the good job that they have been doing especially as regards the operations uh, of Operation Delta Safe. Going forward, the Air Force says it will continue to implement and improve safety strategies for air operations. We have a crew resource management training going on around the whole of Nigerian Air Force, uh, you know, as well as uh, flight safety officers training. We have also promulgated some manuals and some procedures to help generally in the field uh, with all our personnel and all our operations to improve the safety. The overall aim is that in the nearest future, we'll have uh, a very well ingrained safety culture and uh, we'll be going towards our target of zero accidents and incidents in the Nigerian Air Force. Esther Alaribe lost her husband in the helicopter crash. They were married for three years and have a two-year-old son. I just wish it's a dream. Every morning my son wakes up and says, Dada, like a video call we normally do, and I'll just tell him, babe, Maybe sleep back. That will call much later. Air Marshal Abubakar also inspected facilities on the base and addressed personnel to boost their morale and reassure them that their welfare remains top priority. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.